Hello everybody, it's Joe the Locksmith. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the Auto Universal iKey styles, the different styles, how to install the battery, the emergency key. We're going to take a closer look at these. So first off, none of these keys come with batteries and they all take a standard CR2032 battery. So make sure you have plenty of these, 2032. Okay, the original generic style is this remote here. Comes in many different button configurations. This is the standard four button, lock, unlock, trunk, and panic. Has the LED light on the top of the key for when you press the button. The emergency key is on the back. You press this button down here, pull this out. Now this is the only style that doesn't come with an emergency blade and you can change to any blade you want. Autel does not make blades yet. So this is ready to fit the X-Horse and the key, die, key DIY blades. So those are held in by a hexagonal screw in here. I know some of the early generations when they first came out did not include the screw. The screw size, if you want to pick up extras, is M2.5 millimeter by two millimeter. I'll put that in the description. So we'll fix that emergency blade in. We're gonna loosen the set screw. You can use a regular Allen key. We'll loosen that up. You can install the blade like so. And we'll tighten the screw back up. There we go, nice and tight, nice and snug. This is a Ford blade. Lock it in like so. Bam, it's ready for Ford now. So that's a nice feature. Now this is the only remote that doesn't come with an emergency key. And you can change it to whatever blade you want. Remove, we'll do the opposite procedure. We'll loosen up the set screw. And remove. Tighten it back down. Okay. Now to install the battery on this one, you're gonna release this. You're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. Twist it. Try to be gentle. There's a spring on the top. The battery goes in the back here. Let me pull out a 2032. You want to have the negative side facing up indicated here so positive side down positive side put that in like so okay and we should have the red light perfect so this is their generic style this one's ready to go Take a look at the Hyundai style. Four button Hyundai style. To remove the emergency key, I'm gonna press this button here and pull. This one comes with the HY15 style blade. So this one you cannot change, it comes fixed. It's prepared for Hyundai, Hyundai Kia style vehicles. Okay, to install the battery. We'll insert on a flathead screwdriver, twist. Okay, and the battery goes in here. Same thing, negative side is up and positive side down, like so. It's 
one has the LED light as well on the top. That's your Hyundai style. Next, we have the Nissan style. This is a five button, remote start, lock, unlock, trunk, panic. Same thing, this one is fixed with the emergency key. Nissan style. This one, same thing, it's not removable. Comes fixed. To change the battery, same thing, we'll have our flathead screwdriver. We use a little bit of a smaller size. Gentle twist. Same thing on the other side. Same thing. So negative side up, positive side down. And that's your Nissan style. Next is your Dodge, the Tombstone style remote. So remove the emergency key, slide this back here. Comes with your classic Y159, once again, not removable. To change the battery, use a flathead screwdriver, twist. Same thing, negative side up, positive side down. That's your Dodge style. Next, we have the Honda style. Here's a five button, lock, unlock, remote start, trunk, panic. This one has the LED light on the top. To remove the emergency, we'll slide this back, pull it out. Once again, this one is fixed. You have your Honda 66 standard key blank. Change the battery. Runs on our flathead screwdriver. Again, we give it a twist. And this one, we want the negative side down facing the board. I'll show you here. Negative side, put that one in and down. Close it back. And that's your Honda style. Next, we have the GM. Cadillac style is a five button to remove the emergency key. The button's on the side. We'll depress this down. Pull out the emergency key. It's a standard GM HE100. Again, it's fixed. You cannot remove it. To install the battery, we're going to stick our flathead screwdriver in. Slight twist. Back compartment comes out. Once again, the negative side is up, facing the circuit board. Put that back in like so. And last but not least, we have our BMW style. Four button remote, unlock, lock, trunk, panic. To remove the emergency key, buttons on this side here. Press this down, slide it out. This one you have your BMW HE100R. Again, you cannot remove this plate, it is fixed. To install the battery, you can hands our flathead screwdriver here. That cover comes off. Let's get a 2032. And same thing, the negative bottom sides are going to go towards the remote with the positive side up, like so. We're going to reinstall it like this. Press down.
and that's all BMW style. All right, so that's a closer look at the Autel Universal I keys. They're all nice quality. They feel like OEM. The battery life is good and the range is good as well. So thank you for watching. These are Autel Universal I keys. I'm Joe the Locksmith. Have a great day.